Good morning, welcome here. If you're looking to germinate some seeds in record time, you are in the right place today. Seed packet says 14 to 30 days. So we planted these on Saturday. Uh, the time I took this video, it's Tuesday, and we're publishing it now on a Wednesday. The uh, other side effect of this is your germination results or your rates of uh, seeds that are gonna be usable is much higher. First thing that you're gonna need is you're gonna need a couple of these just regular grow trays. Once you have two of these puppies, you're gonna need to puncture a hole in the bottom corner of it in the same place that your heat mat. And what you do with the sensor wire, you can see it on the left hand side here. Just tape it about midway up to your tray. I've also taken the box where the controller wire came in, cut it up and put it on the bottom. And I find this helps to just dissipate the heat a little bit so it's more consistent. Uh, the temperature remains more consistent inside. For the controller, I'm using the Inkbird uh, and I'll leave a link to all this stuff uh, down below so if you guys are not sure where to get these parts. And I've set the temperature at 25.5 degrees Celsius or if you're a Fahrenheit person, 78 degrees Fahrenheit is the temp that you want and then change the range to make it as tight as possible to keep it as close to that temp. In the picture here you can see it's 27.4, got some bright sunshine coming in the window and that's totally fine, don't, don't panic if that's happening to you. Now the method that I choose to, to germinate is the paper towel method. And all that is, is you take a paper towel, put the seeds down, and just make it moist. It doesn't have to be sopping, none of that, and chuck it inside a Ziploc bag. Close that thing up, and uh, the perk of this is, if you only have it one layer folded over like I'm doing here, you can actually hold these things up to the grow lights, like so. And you can see if you've got little green specks, you know the seeds have popped and they're ready to get out of there. Great, so now you got your seeds germinated in record time. What do you do now? I'll take a tray with uh, a bunch of cups, set that up, and use whatever kind of media that you want. And the key to getting this to continue on growing that quick is to make sure that you moisten your media, whatever that happens to be. I recommend the uh, Pro Mix, it's what I've used and I've had great success with it for it. Sometimes I'm using perlite for my hydroponics, but whatever you do with the media, just uh, put it into a container and moisten it up. It should be moist, it should not be saturated. Open up your Ziploc bag, and you can just uh, take your paper towel out and just take the seeds right off of there and pop them down into your grow media. Cover them very, very slightly. You should still be able to see the green part of the seed. And uh, I'll zoom in here and hopefully you guys can see it. A little tough to see, but uh, you should still be able to see the green part. Now, if the seeds don't come off the mat or off the paper towel, don't pull them off, don't force them off. Just take, grab a pair of scissors and cut that piece of paper towel out and drop that whole thing right on top of your grow medium and then just cover it up ever so gently. The root will find its way down, there's no worries there. Once you've got them all planted up, close them back up, put a tray over top and set these things back uh, into your greenhouse setup or a well lit window. Keep the plants underneath this until you have the first set of leaves is out or until they're a little bit above the soil. In the case of this, these are actually cactus seeds that I've got going on here. So once they're a little bit above the soil, pop the container off. Sooner is better if you're not sure, okay, as long as you know that the seed was not going to dry out. Moist is the key, the root will find its way down to the moisture, keep that in mind. 
too wet is bad. Too dry is bad too, I guess. <laughs> a good way to tell if you've got uh, enough moisture in the cup is just to lift the cup. There should be a little weight to it that you can feel if there's moisture in it. If there is, it's fine. For those of you that are going to build this contraption and uh, use it, make sure you let me know if you love it or if you hate it. I'd like to know either way. For me, I've been using it for uh, several years like this and uh, since I've switched over to this method, I will not germinate seeds any other way. It's just quick, it's efficient, and it, uh, the success rate of anything I plant has been just phenomenal. Hope you guys enjoy it. Thumbs it up if you uh, like what you've seen here today. Subscribe, comment, whatever the heck you want to do. Have a coffee.